whether you've got many trees in your garden or you've simply got one tree or two, there's always maintenance that needs to get done to them. And one of the most important bits of maintenance is in terms of taking off these little guys, you see, just like this. In fact, the most beautiful part of a tree is normally just its gorgeous trunk. And if we don't, what we call lift the canopy. And by lifting the canopy, you literally immerse and, and open up all of the gorgeous trunk of the tree. And that is probably the most beautiful part. So guys, get yourself a really, really good handsaw. Your cut works on the push and the pull. Look at that. Ha, has pruning been that easy? You know, no longer are there the days of the big bow saws where you're needing two people to do it. Nice and simple. These blades are incredibly sharp and the maintenance in terms of them is literally just clean it up, give it a good wipe, use a bit of Q20 or a bit of um, WH, that WD40, give it a good clean and put it back in its pouch. And I guarantee you that if you have to buy something like this, it would last you forever as long as it's looked after. Now folks, where are you finding you've got a branch like this, there's a bit of disease set in, really needs to come out. Um, also, where you find two lateral branches, do you see this? One going here, one just above it. Not the ideal situation for any tree, right? Because then you start getting those cross branches, one falls on the other one, collapses. Okay, so it's just simple maintenance and it's thinking practically about the tree. When you're making a cut on a longer branch, and it's not these little thin guys, folks, it's so very, very important that you do the proper technique. And the technique I want to demonstrate is what we call the undercut. So we're going to cut through here just about a quarter of the way, right? That's then going to take the pressure off. We then, just about two or three centimeters away from that, we start with our top cut. And you'll see when we do that, the pressure then comes down and it doesn't make your, your little saw get stuck in there because it's opening it up. And one of the easiest ways, and also you don't get that tearing. You know, if you've cut a branch before and the whole branch starts falling and you just see the bark going Okay, it's not gonna do that. So let's show you how it's done, nice and simple. About a quarter of the way through, remove that, make a bit of a space, and then we start with the top cut. We've done that first cut nice and simple and you saw how the saw just literally glided through. Once you've done that, you've taken all the major weight off. Now you can do your final cut where you want it for purely aesthetic reasons because you don't want to see a stump here. It's just really awful. Nice and simple. That's the way it's done using the right tools. Well, that's all fair and well. We've created a whole lot of mess now pruning, cutting, getting bits, rid of, rid of bits. Another one here that I've just seen, which I'll remove. So now, what do we do with all these things? Do we turn them into bits of compost? Do we throw them away? Do we have to hire a trailer and load them onto the trailer to take to the dump? Come with me, I wanna show you the best solution and one of the coolest gardening gadgets in the world.